Hello, good morning friends. Today we are going to discuss about Moore model or Moore model. Okay. So what do you mean by Moore model is the output depends upon the present state of the flip flop. The output depends upon the present state of flip flop. So this is known as Moore model. So we will see an example of a more state diagram. So this is an example of a Moore model state diagram. So here we are having the states A, B, C, D. And uh, below the states we are having the outputs. For example you take the state A. So this is the state and this is the output and uh, from the state you are having arrow marks to the next state or to the present state itself so these values represent the inputs so inputs state and output so we'll see how to draw the state table for this Moore model so in the state table will have present state this given by ps then next state and output values so we have next state for two inputs when x equal to 0 and when x equal to 1 okay so we will uh, go to the uh, present states in order so we will take the first state A for the first state A when the input is 0 when the input is 0 it is going to the same state so the same state is A and we have a common output as 0 and for the state A, when the input is 1, it is going to the state C and the output is 0. So for x equal to 1, it is going to C and the output is 0. Now come to the state B. For the state B, when the input is 0, it is going to the same state. So it is B and the output is 0. For the state B, so we we'll take this as 1, when the input is 1, it is going to the state A and the output is 0. Come to the state C, when it is 0, it is going to D and the output is 1. For the state C, when it is 0, it is going to D and the output is 1. When the input is 1 for the state C, it is going to the same state and again the output is 1. Finally, for state D. For state D, when 0 it is going to B and here the output is 0. And when it is 1, it is going to the same state and again the output is 0. So this is about Moore model. Thank you.